into the world of science. Learn how moon phases form, how tides work, and how they're not just a cookie monster in a famous painting. How seasons form all around the world every day. And how Eclipse is not just a movie, but also a scientific phenom. Moon phases are caused by the moon's rotation and the sunlight reflected. Light from the moon is reflected from the sun. We see different moon phases because it seems the moon can appear to be growing or decreasing in light during its rotation. This model shows the lunar cycle of the different moon phases we see from the sunlight reflected. Eclipses occur when a space object gets in the way of another space object, blocking light, creating the shadow effect, which is the eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when the sun, moon, and earth align. The moon gets in the way of the sunlight, making a shadow on earth. The moon is in its new moon phase and also occurs during the day. In this picture, you can see how the moon is blocking light, casting a shadow on earth during a solar eclipse. Lunar eclipses occur when the earth, moon, and sun are aligned. The earth blocks light from the sun, making a shadow on the moon. This happens when the moon is full during night. This photo shows how the earth is blocking light, making the shadow on earth. Waves come in higher or lower with the help of the moon's gravity. The part of the Earth that is closest to the moon will have high tide. The moon's gravity pulls the water out to its furthest point. On the other sides of the Earth, the tide is at its lowest. This happens when the moon is full or near. Neap tides are weak tides. It is when the moon is at first or last quarter moon. When the moon makes a right angle with the sun, the gravity of the sun and the moon cause neap tides to occur. Earth's rotation, revolution, and tilt help cause the seasons. The Earth's tilt causing the northern and southern hemispheres to get different amounts of sunlight. As the Earth revolves throughout the year, we can get different amounts of sunlight. This causes the change in season. This happens when your part of the hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, getting the most sunlight. Since it is a solstice, this means it is the longest day of the year. This occurs when there is direct sunlight on the equator, making fall for the opposite side of the world. Since it is an equinox, there is an equal amount of day and night. This starts around September 22nd and 23rd. This happens when sunlight is directly on the southern hemisphere. A winter solstice means the longest night and shortest day. Starts around December 20th and 23. This happens when sunlight is directly on the equator. For us, it is spring. On the other side, it is fall. This begins around March 20 or 21.